What's poppin' people? Today I will be talking about the new courses added into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe via Booster Pass Wave 4. Starting off, we have a new character, Birdo, and it looks like there are a couple question marks that represent future characters, so I can't wait to see those. Now, Birdo can apparently change colors, like the Yoshis and Shy Guys, which is a strange feature to add because in pretty much all Mario games, Birdo is pink. I'm not really complaining, at the end of the day it's just more character options, plus maybe Birdo is a species rather than a singular character. Anyway, let's get into the first cup. Starting off, we have Amsterdam Drift from Mario Kart Tour. So far there are a lot of windmills and it looks like we are dodging some Monty Moles. I really like how the game incorporates stuff from the Mario universe into tracks based on the world we live in. Looks like we're going through a boat, we go through a tram, and now we're underwater. It looks like we can jump onto a boat right here, and we're back underwater, and honestly, this section doesn't look like Amsterdam at all anymore, we're just kind of in the sewer system chilling right now. We're going through the city one last time, and we go back underwater. Then we jump out, and we're in a tulip field. I really like this section, it looks very pretty, and there are even piranha plants waiting to bite someone going by. This was a really good track, I have high hopes for the rest of this cup, let's keep going. GBA Riverside Park. I feel like a lot of people wanted this one to be remade. So far, we're just going through a jungle. We're going over a bridge. Oh look, walking piranha plants. That's something we don't see in Mario Kart very often. I really wanted to hit one of these with a shell. Lol, it went right up in the air. We're going through a cave and out a waterfall, and we're back at the start. This track layout is a little basic and short. However, the scenery is beautiful. It looks like you're legit in a jungle, and it looks really nice. The section where you go underneath vines is also a nice touch. This track is alright, the layout is nothing special, but the environment is perfect. Now onto Wii DK Summit. This is one of the best tracks in Mario Kart Wii, let's see how good it is here. First you shoot out of a cannon, however you use your glider to go upwards, which doesn't make any sense. This section is also a bit slower than Wii, which makes it feel a little different. We start going down, and we're at the ramps followed by the thick snow. Now it's time for the snow bumps. We're at the part where you have to not fall in a cannon, and the ramps on the side make you go super fast. We're at the half pipe now, and I got hit by a shy guy. Anyway, we're back to the start now. This track was really close to the Wii track. This was actually pretty dope and fun to play. Now for what everyone has been waiting for, Yoshi's Island. The first thing about this track is that it looks beautiful. We're going up a hill, and there are shy guys with stilts I have to dodge. The coins have Yoshi's face on them, which is kind of cool. We're now underwater, and it looks like we're going through a castle and into a cave. We go over a volcano, and then we go on top of clouds. In the background, you can see this weird purple creature coming out of the water. Let's try to hit one of those green things, and it makes a red path appear. I'll be honest, I've never really played Yoshi's Island, but this track reminds me of Hyrule Circuit and the track based off Animal Crossing. This track is really awesome and has so many different things put together. I really hope we see more tracks based off specific Mario games, and I really want a track based on Galaxy or Odyssey. That would be super dope. So far, the Peach Cup has been good. Now for the Boomerang Flower Cup. Now it's time for Bangkok Rush. So far there's some good scenery and we're in a floating market and we don't go underwater, we drive on top of it and bounce off boats which is really awesome. I like what they did here. We're now going through another market and under a train station. Now we're going into the city and up this hill. We're now flying off a ramp and over the democracy monument. Time for a speedy section right after and time for the final lap. We go past this really cool building, which I'm sure is a landmark, back into the city. I guess we're now driving up a parking garage, and we're now bouncing on colorful canopies. I think I could have gone up the stairs into a train station. I'm just going to try to go up here so you guys could see it. And I get picked up by Lakitu. Well, that's the end of this race. Now for a track nobody asked for, DS Mario Circuit. This is another track where you go past Peach's Castle and dodge some Goombas, super original. We have to dodge some Piranha Plant Fire as we go through a tube into a Pine Tree Forest. This wasn't in the original track, so at least they're changing things up a little bit, but in the last lap they added a giant Wiggler for like no reason. It doesn't make sense. At the end of the track though, you have to make some sharp turns and whatnot, but this course is pretty lackluster. Starting off on GCN Waluigi Stadium, so far it's pretty good. You have all the bumps to do satisfying tricks off. There are also these ramps that make you go super fast, and we're just going through more of the dirt road, and Nintendo messed up the piranha section. Instead of having them go through half the road like original, the first two piranhas are both sticking out of the ground. Like why? There are now green platforms above the track that are difficult to get on, which I think is a really nice touch. Overall, this track is really good, except for that one flaw I pointed out. Now it's time to go to Singapore Speedway, and so far I love the night atmosphere. This track is very pretty, we're now in a cannon going on top of the infinity pool, and there are Goombas in it, which is awesome. We go down, time for lap 2. I believe we are now going through Chinatown. I love all the Yoshis and Shy Guys here, it adds a nice touch. We're going over a dancing fountain. I don't know what these are called, but they're really cool looking. They look like man-made trees. 
Now we're in a tunnel, and we're going over a soccer field, and we're going to glide through here. We're back to Chinatown now, and we're at the end. Nintendo has definitely stepped up their tour tracks. This one was really fun to play. So far, this has been the best DLC wave of the Booster Pass. I really like DK Summit, Bangkok Rush, Singapore Speedway, and Yoshi's Island. I'm definitely excited to see what comes next, and as always, peace out.